I know some of you guys may be like, whoa, this video is very, very long. I'm not sure about this. Trust me, there's a lot of key information in this video you're gonna wanna check out. But to make it easier for some of you guys, I will leave timestamps in the description with all the key points so you can just jump around if that makes it easier for you. Or if you wanna just know what I'm talking about throughout the video, so you say, okay, I need to watch all this whole video. But trust me, there's a ton of information in this video. Let's get to it. What's up, everybody? It's Meech. You're tuned into On The Radar, where we cover health, fitness, and tech. Obviously, you know why we're here. We're talking about bionatal being tested and proven as having the strongest black seed oil on Earth, on the market, on the planet, in the universe. Now, I've been saying this stuff in the videos, and now we have the proof. I don't know. It's probably too white. No, it's a lot of lighting in here. As I set up my notes, please bear with me. I wanna make sure that I am not all over the place. I wanna make sure I hit these key topics and give you guys the right information and, and not take too long with this. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when we upload new content. Also, I know a lot, of, I, I guess a lot of you guys don't make it to the end of the video. So people are always asking me about where can I purchase Bionatal. I will leave the link to Bionatal in the description as well as in the first comment in the comment section. So there you go. Now, all that's out the way, let's get into what we're here for. So again, I, I've been telling you guys that Bionatal has the strongest black seed oil on the market. If you read the comment sections, people that purchase the oil, a lot of them say the same thing. It's the strongest oil they've ever tasted. So it's one thing to make that claim. It's another thing to prove it with independent testing. We have that independent testing. We also have um, a, the benzo level that was tested, and we'll get into what that is, and it's something else I've been explaining to you. We'll get into that. So if you don't know, what is tested is the TQ levels. Now, the TQ levels is the thymoquinone or the thymoquinone. Everybody has a little bit different way to say it, but we're going to say the TQ levels. Now, a lot of people know what the TQ levels is, the thymoquinone is the active ingredient that is in the black seed oil in the Nigella sativa plant. That's the active ingredient. That's the main thing that gives us all these health beneficial properties, right? So to give you a reference point, one of the most popular brands on the market is Amazing Herbs. We all started off using it. Um, I've done several videos on it. And their TQ levels, they post on their, their actual bottles. They, they put that right out there. That's probably how a lot of us even know about it in the first place because we started off with that brand and it's right on their bottle. So we say, oh, what's TQ? What's thymoquinone? Then some of us go look it up. Oh, that's active. Okay. So now that that's understood, as a reference point, um, Amazing Herbs, they, they promote on their actual bottles that their TQ level ranges from 0.95 to 2.6, okay? Now, one thing that I've always said to myself when I was using it, I'm like, okay, I know what thymoquinone is because I looked it up, but it's in this range. So me not knowing any better, like a lot of us, we're just like, okay, this is the active ingredient. It's good. It's in there. It's, it's strong. It's high and it's strong because they said they have this five times thing on it. And if, if they're promoting it and, and it must be something good that they want to let us know and other companies don't do it. So, you know, you just automatically think, this is what it is. So Bionatal has tested and proven their TQ level is 3.56. I'll let that sink in. I'll rewind it back. Bionatal's TQ level, the active ingredient, the thymoquinone, is 3.56. A lot of people has been asking me from the beginning, what is their TQ levels? And I was saying, I don't know. It hasn't been tested yet. It's been tested and it goes with right what we've been saying. It is the strongest black seed oil on the market. Now, again, as a reference point, um, Amazing Herbs is from 0.95 to 0.26. Now, that, that's a range. So what that means is you don't actually know what you're getting when you're using these other oils. You're getting somewhere in between. So if I'm taking the dose or I don't know what I'm getting from bottle to bottle, dose to dose, how does that actually work? I've always thought about that. I don't, I don't know if a lot of, I don't know if that went over a lot of people's heads when they're using these products. If, if, if you're bionatal, there's no, 
There's no range. It's 3.56. That's what it is. It also goes to what I've been telling you guys about these other companies use these different seeds from these different regions. The seeds from the different regions have the different potency levels. Don't I say this in every video? <laughs> and it sounds like a broken record to some of you guys, but this is what I've been saying and this is why it's important. And now we have the understanding. We're starting to understand through proof, right? So if you're using seeds from different regions and different potency levels and all this stuff and you're mixing them and you're mixing the oils, you're going to not have a proper range. Bionatal only uses um, Ethiopian black seeds. So you only get one thing. There's no mixing. There's no other additives. There's no nothing. 3.56. So it goes along uh, also what a lot of people has been hitting me up. Well, this stuff is so expensive. Why, why am I spending this much money and why should I already purchase this and it works for me? Well, I keep saying to people, if you want the best quality, you're going to have to pay for the best quality. Now I think you might understand. Do you want something that's within a range of 0.95 and 2.6 or do you want something that is 3.56 flat? There's no range, there's no in-between, there's no up and down. That's what it is. You are getting the strongest oil. So if you, the, whatever brand of black seed oil that you've been using, if you feel like it's great and you're getting all these benefits, well, it's not the best. Think about that. So now when you're talking about price and all this, now you understand. So let's move on. <laughs> so also to, and I, I got to, like I said, I got to refer to my notes. So the benzo levels also what has been... Um, tested. Benzo level is benzo A prinine. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a, I'm, a, I'm just, I'm just me. <laughs> but what it is, it's the contaminant levels on a molecular level when they're testing cooked or things that are cooked or heated up, anything like from food, drinks, oils, anything that has to go through any type of heating process. Um, it builds up these levels and it's what I've been saying what I've been I was telling you in the other videos about when you press your oils when you when, when these company when these companies press the oils when they're producing their black seed oils a lot of these companies double press their oils and I was telling you Bionado only presses their oil once and they press it at a low temperature when you raise the temperature and you're double pressing it I was telling you guys how you get the, uh, uh, the added acidic levels and stuff like that and you degrade the oil I, I, again that's something that I've been saying to sound like a broken record in all these videos this is what I'm talking about so um, the max standard level in the US for certain um, for oils and certain products and because depending on what, what you're doing whether it's food drink oils is different levels the max standard level in the US is 2.0 bionatal tested 0 0.94 so they're well within the, the, the regulated acceptable range of contaminants um, in their oil so if and again I, I, I Tell you guys to look all this stuff up because I may not be explaining this in perfect detail again because I'm not a scientist. If you look this stuff up, you'll have a, probably a better understanding. But I'm just giving you a general understanding of what this is, what I've been saying, and why this, this, this report is important. So it just goes to show you again when I'm telling you about they only press their seeds once. They press it at a low temperature. This confirms it. That when I tell you that they're not contaminating the oil, they're not degrading their oil by all the extra pressing, this is the proof of it. So you, the benzoyl level is important and the TQ levels is, is important because again, that's the active ingredient. So this also goes back to what I keep saying with Bionatal when they, uh, these Bionatal imports their seeds from Ethiopia, which is part of the transparency. They show you the shipping records on their website. Other companies are not doing that. Other companies are shot not showing you their reports of their TQ and their benzo levels. Transparency. Um, they're also not showing you the production dates or giving you production dates on the bottles. The production date is important because you know when your oil was pressed. This particular bottle that I have was pressed in March of 2019. And it says it's best used by March 2021. These other companies, you don't know when these oils are, have been pressed. You don't know how long they've been sitting on a shelf before you receive them. You don't know if they've been in a shelf and in a factory for two or three years. You don't know if this oil is old or not. This is fresh oil, so it's still bioact bioly active. 
um, your TQ levels are still strong. This stuff is still strong. It's still good. It's still beneficial. So other companies are not doing that. So this is why, again, transparency. Are you getting this from these other companies? So when you're talking about price, again, you're getting what you pay for. You're getting different quality. There's a reason for that. Now, with the sediment, as I said in previous videos, BioNatal doesn't double press their stuff so they have the leftover sediment. Sediment. A lot of these other companies are not, they don't even have this because they're not pressing the seeds themselves. BioNatal presses their, their, their seeds in the U.S. They have it shipped from Ethiopia. They press it right here in the U.S. so it's fresh. These other companies get it pressed from, from wherever, and then they have the oil shipped. So they can't control the regulation of how it's, it's being pressed. They might not even fully know where the seeds are coming from. It's, it's just they don't have the control over, over the, the regulations of, of their oil. BioNatal does. So these other companies can't offer you the other products like the soaps, the face masks and stuff like that because they don't have the access to the, the sediment because they're not pressing it. So with BioNatal taking the, the, the sediment and putting it back into the oil, um, it makes the oil stronger because again, as I explained, if you don't understand that, why that, that makes a difference because if you have the seed itself, the seed is the strongest part. The seed is the strongest. You're going to get the most beneficial qualities out of the seed. But because it's easier for us to take the oil, because it's easier to dose it, it's easier to use it in more versatile ways, we, we press it and get the oil. But you're going to lose some of that initial potency. So if when, when you put the seeds back, I mean the, the sediment back into the oil, it's just making it stronger because you're getting more of the whole complete... Um, the whole complete seed, the whole complete, um, you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this stuff out and still, I'm trying to stay focused, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. Um, so that goes into making the oil stronger that these other companies can't offer you. Okay. That's what I'm trying to get across. So before, while we're on that subject, being that the sediment is in these, these, in, in this oil, if you notice, if you flip over your bottles, you'll see the, 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 the glass is dark, but if you hold it up to the light, you'll see the sediment settle at the bottom. So what you want to do with these oils is you want to shake it up. Shake it up real good every time right before you use it, and you'll loosen up that sediment, that sediment and it'll get all mixed up into the oil. You'll also notice when you, when you pour it that way versus when you don't mix it, you'll notice it's even darker because now you have the sediment in there. So the oil is stronger. So definitely shake it all the time to loose that, loosen that stuff up and, and just you know have it activated. Very important tip. So those are the key points that I wanted to touch on. And you, know, you just have the proof now. It is um, officially the strongest tested black seed oil. Other companies can't tell you that. 3.56, sorry, I'm spitting all over the place. 3.56, do you want a potency level that is exact and high, or do you want somewhere where you're getting an undisclosed range and you don't know what you're getting? Think about that. So it also goes into what I've been telling people. I get a lot of people hitting me up and they're like, well, this stuff is so expensive. Why is it so expensive? Why should I pay for this? Some people even treat it like it's a joke. Well, you know, they're just, it doesn't make sense why I'm already buying this oil, this brand, and listen. I keep telling you guys in the comment section, you get what you pay for. If you want the best quality, you have to pay for the best quality. So now this is proven. So now you can do what you want to do. A lot of people also feel like because a certain company is, 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 it's more available and it's more popular and everybody's using it, they automatically think, well, it must be the best because it's popular and that's what everybody uses. But this is why I'm trying to educate people. If you go throughout my videos, you'll see I started off with Amazing Herbs. I use other brands. I tested out all these other brands. And as I went along, I was finding other brands that I thought was better. When I came across Bionatal, it, it's the best. And so far, it's, it hasn't been knocked off its... its, it's, it's its status and you know now everything that I've been telling you guys is proven with testing you can't go wrong with that so I don't know what else to tell you guys if you want the best you pay for the best if you care about your health then you you want to go with the best now I want to touch on the black seed pills BioNatal doesn't offer the black seed pills yet but I want to I want to make this 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 clear to you because again 
I have a lot of people that talk about, well, I'm already purchasing this, this brand and it's not expensive. It works for me. That's great. But I want you guys to understand something that might be going over your head when you're, when you're consuming the pills. So I keep all of my old bottles for reference. So I have all the old products that I used to have. So on my, um, on the bottle of the Amazing Herbs bottle, if anybody who has it, look at the, the, the dosage on the back. It's, it's, the dosage is one pill twice a day, but it also tells you that one pill is equal to one fourth tablespoon, teaspoon. So what is a full dose? A full dose is one teaspoon. So a lot of people take two pills a day. So you're only getting a half a teaspoon of your dose. So think about that. So if you wanted to get a proper daily dose, you would have to actually take eight pills a day. Now, I don't think a lot of people are taking eight pills a day. And at the same time, you're, you're, obviously, if you're not doing that, you're getting underdosed. Now, if you want to turn around and realize that and say, all right, well, I'm going to start taking uh, eight pills a day. Now you're going to have to consume more pills. You're going to have to buy more pills. You're going to have to spend more money. So now it goes back to what people, when they're complaining, well, why do I have to spend this money? I, I'm, I'm explaining to you, you're getting underdosed, whether you realize it or not. You're getting underdosed because you're not getting, uh, even, even if, if you're okay with their, their TQ levels of 2.6, you don't know if and when you're getting that because it's giving you a range. Bionatal, again, is 3.56. There's no in between. You're getting an exact strong ass dose every time you take a, a, a teaspoon if you're taking the pills again you if you want to get the proper dose you're going to have to buy now double probably of the bottles that you're, you're spending you're going to have to take more pills does that make sense to you seriously does that really make sense so just pay for the quality you don't have to do all this extra stuff i hope that makes sense to you and look on your, 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 your bottles if you have the pills of, of Amazing Herbs. It says it right there. It's actually right there. It's, it's not, they're not hiding it from you. It's right there. I think a lot of people are just not understanding and, and, and putting it together. So, Because everybody that I know that takes it or used to take it, they say they take two pills a day. Some people say they take four. You're still not, if, even if you're taking four, that's just giving you one, one actual dose for the day. Okay. That's for the most part it. I want to talk on a couple of things real quick before we 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 um we wrap up. So again, just as um I, I people come at me in the comment section. I want to address some stuff. I don't have a problem addressing things, <laughs> especially when I can back it up with facts. So I, I, we already spoke on the everybody who comes at me and says, well, it costs too much, and they complain about that. That's already, I hope, has been cleared up. I feel like a lot of things people say in that regard is excuses, and I want to want to get into that. When you talk, if at this point, after watching this video, you're still complaining about the cost, it's an excuse. As I keep saying, you we, we all invest in the things that we want to invest in. But when it comes to investing in our health, we start making excuses. We start making excuses with, 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 with um, supplements. When, when something is actually good, we make excuses with food. I don't want to eat organic. I don't want to eat healthy because it costs too much, but we'll go spend money on cars. We'll spend, I already spoke about all that. Um, I get a lot of people coming at me saying, do you work for the company? Do you work for the company? You're just trying, you're promoting. Well, obviously, first of all, no, I don't work for the company. I'm a YouTuber. I work with the company. It's a big difference. But do I promote their products? You damn right. Obviously, I promote their products because why wouldn't I, I want to promote the best stuff? This is what I was doing. And this is why I say it's an excuse because nobody was saying this when I was promoting Amazing Herbs. Nobody was, 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 was um, saying this and asking me these questions when I was doing reviews on the other Black Sea Oil products. Once I started doing reviews and, and promoting this brand and, and, and telling you guys it's the best and proving that it's the best, I feel like people start complaining because it costs too much and it might be out of their price range. If it's out of your price range, I understand it is what it is but don't make excuses because you don't want to invest in your health because again we all find the money to pay for the things we want to pay for point blank period so I feel like we're, we're making excuses don't do that don't make it don't attack me don't make excuses by attacking me you know what I'm saying I, 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 I'm not with that so again am I promoting you damn right 
first of all, why wouldn't I promote something that is, is, is so healthy and beneficial to us? Why wouldn't I promote something that is I can show you with facts? So it's a stupid question when you start bringing up, oh, you're just promoting and, you know, you're affiliated with the company. That, that sounds stupid. And if, again, if you have an issue with me being affiliated with the company, then dispute the facts. I'm giving you facts. What other company and what other YouTuber that is talking about black seed oil is giving you this information? Go through, uh, through my other videos. Nobody else on YouTube is giving you this information. No other company is being this transparent. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> One more thing before I close out, people saying like, you know, as, as much as I keep comparing, especially in this video to Amazing Herbs, a lot of people are saying, well, you're attacking these other companies. No, that's false. First of all, nobody was saying this again when I was comparing these other brands before I found Bionatal. That's number one. Number two, I'm, I'm not attacking anybody. I'm showing you comparisons and I'm showing you facts. Me stating what is on um, Amazing Herbs bottle when they're comparing, when they're, when they're promoting their TQ levels, that's not an attack if I'm showing you Bionatals is better and stronger. I'm showing you with testing, paperwork. That's not an attack. I'm not attacking by comparing. Again, I feel like people say that because they feel uncomfortable when they're using a product and now I'm telling you that they're, they're, the product that they use and they love is inferior. <laughs> That's what I feel like it is. It's not anything else. I'm not bashing this company. I'm not telling you these other companies are trash. I'm just showing you why they're not better. I'm not telling you not to use those products. In fact, my other videos are still up where I'm promoting those products. I'm just showing you what is better and I'm explaining to you in detail why Bionatal is better than these other products. It's not an attack. It is what it is. It's, it's the truth. If you're, if you're uncomfortable with the truth, I don't know what to tell you. Then you're, you're, you're living in a fantasy world. So I, I, I felt it necessary to get those things off my chest. I uh, want to just real quick check my notes and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. But I, I, I think I covered everything. I, I hope I covered everything. Um, I, I think that's it. Anything I might have missed, definitely hit me up in the comment section. Let's talk about it. Anything, you know, just whatever. Let's, let's, let's take this conversation into the comment section. Um, subscribe to Bionatal's channel because they're coming with some information on their channel that will be helpful. Um, and I, I think it'll, it'll be helpful. And um, check out their, their channel. I'll link it in the description. Again, Links to Bionatal's channel, their YouTube channel, I mean, and their website if you want to purchase the products, if you want to purchase the black seed oil, the soap, all the other products I've done videos on. It's in the description as well as in the comment section. The first comment, you'll see it. Um, anything else, all relative videos, my, my, my um, review videos, all the other informative videos will be also there in the, in the description. Check it out. I'll leave links up here or wherever it is. You know, I always forget which side it is. Um, so I hope that covers everything. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to make sure I covered everything before I um, close out. I think that's it. So until next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely tune in next time and hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time something else pops up on the radar. Salute.